down to know your role. Plus, we have a preview for Sonic Adventure 2. Stick around, it's game time! Welcome to our show from GameWorks on the Las Vegas Strip. I'm Kate Patello. And I'm Adam Sessler, and we're here doing the 2001 Consumer Electronics Show. Now, of course, the real reason we're here is for the big buzz from Microsoft. Yes, Bill Gates revealed more about the Xbox, and we got a chance to spend some quality time with it. Today, for the first time, we're unveiling the Xbox. Bill Gates gave the keynote address at this year's Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. He chose this stage to give the world its first glimpse at the next big console to blast on the scene, Xbox. Microsoft's first gaming console and the first American console since the Atari Jaguar. Gates went on to reveal more of what we can expect when the console ships in the fall. If you want to play a game with this thing, uh, you simply push the eject button here, stick the disc in, and boom, within eight seconds, you're up and running in that game. We have a hard disk. And so the information about the game will already be stored. You don't have to load it off the disk or load it as you move uh, from level to level. Uh, what you're seeing on the front, four game ports. Uh, that was one of the big pieces of feedback was people didn't want to be limited to two. We support HDTV. We've also got an Ethernet connector at the back. This thing is a broadband gaming device. Gates isn't the only one excited about his new system. The computing muscle of Xbox has created a flurry of anticipation from the gaming community. The Xbox looks like it's going to be the next big thing. It looks like it's going to be the hot toy for 2001. It's not like a learning curve where they're staggering around trying to get into this business. They're coming in, boom, and trying to hit everyone really hard. The design of the console evolved by talking with gamers and developers about what they desire in a gaming unit. Even the controller evolved over time, reflecting Microsoft's top secret research. As an adult with big hands, you can hold it farther back and it's really comfortable and cool. But in fact, if your hands are smaller, you'll see people naturally just move their hands up and around and it fits them all. The controller features two analog sticks, a D-pad, six buttons grouped together on the right side, two triggers, and two memory card slots. But a controller doesn't mean much without a decent game to play. It's designed to enable the game artists, the creators, to make their visions come true. Microsoft showed off two impressive games still in development for the console. One was the latest version of Munch's Odyssey from Oddworld Inhabitants. The game's designers recently pulled the game from the PlayStation 2 because of the difficulty of developing for the Sony console. <laughs> Clearly the game's come a long way since we last saw it. In Munch's Odyssey, they intend for you never to see a load screen. And that's entirely doable on Xbox, right? Because you can be constantly streaming off that DVD. Microsoft also gave a first look at Malice, the new game from Argonaut. The demo that Microsoft showed displayed objects that cast shadows that moved and folded in real time. The anti-aliasing capability of the Xbox was well demonstrated in this footage. Developers are obviously finding it possible to create impressive new games for this console. One thing that I'm seeing with the Xbox, it's going to have a pretty negative effect on the PC business. On the PC, people can really mess around with their computer and change it in any way they like, and that makes the game suddenly incompatible to a lot of games, and that, that becomes a big problem for developers. With the Xbox, you can't do that. You, you just, unless you get your screwdriver right, you can't mess with your Xbox. And so for developers, that makes our lives a lot easier. It's also possible that the ease of developing for the Microsoft system will affect the future of the PlayStation 2 or the upcoming Nintendo GameCube. If more developers jump ship seeking easier, more familiar tools, the other consoles may have a problem. Microsoft will be laying some serious hurt on Sony. And I'm a Sony fan, but uh, the machine has just got, it's got all the, all the components that the PlayStation 2 is missing to be a true next generation online playable console. In any case, if Microsoft can deliver on their promises, we should see the landscape of gaming altered by a factor of X. For your own look into our Xbox files, come on out to our website. There you can see even more of that incredible looking game footage of both Munch's Odyssey and Malice. And now, the game news. 
Microsoft's Xbox could be the first machine of its type not to feature territorial lockouts, which means that consumers with an American Xbox could play Japanese and European games. Game publishers could put lockouts in, but at least Microsoft is allowing that decision to be made by the people who make the games and not the console designers. Blizzard learned recently that Diablo 2 players were mysteriously losing characters, items, skill points, and experience. Some people found out that if you try to log in about 50 or 60 times with the name of an existing character, about 1% of the time the Battle.net server would grant them access. As a result, Blizzard has revived all hardcore characters who died between December 19th and January 1st. Shoichiro Irimajiri is leaving Sega before the end of the month. The ex-president resigned from his position and became vice chairman after taking the blame for poor Dreamcast sales. Irimajiri then became company advisor and is now leaving the company altogether. The New York Times recently reported that Nintendo was in buyout negotiations with Sega. The report claimed that Nintendo was interested in buying Sega in its entirety for an approximate amount of $2 billion. Since the report originally ran, both Nintendo and Sega officials were quick to flatly deny the buyout rumors. Coming up on GameSpot TV, we tip off our reviews with NBA 2K1. And we rock the ring in our review of WWF SmackDown 2 Know Your Role.